Hello again, welcome back to a Code Hub tutorial on C++. In this lesson, we are talking about the string data type. Now, what at all is a string? Now, we talk about different data types like integers and then character. Here, we're talking about strings. Now, strings actually means a sequence of characters that have been put together. So, you can see that in, in our screen or in our previous lessons throughout, we have been printing text on the console using C out the two angle bracket and then writing a text inside the quotation mark. That is two quotation marks. Now in C++, any text, anything that is written inside of a quotation mark, whether single or double quote, is termed as a what? As, as a string. So here, what I have inside the quotation mark here, the hello world text inside the quotation mark is called the string. Now, doing this, writing um, a text inside of a quotation mark and then printing it to the console, it is possible. We have been doing this. But it is also a good way to note that we can actually assign this to a variable, which is which belongs to the type of a string. So to do that, we can use the string keyword and then give our variable name. Okay, so let me say great. And then we can assign it to a particular text inside of a quotation mark. So here I'm going to write hello world. And I'll terminate it. Now inside here, we, where we are printing hello world or we are outputting hello world here, we, we no longer have to output hello world, but we rather have to print the name of the variable, which is greet. Now in doing so, we know that how the concept of variables work. We are assigning the value of hello world into the variable name greet, which belongs to the data type word string. So previously, we could use integers, int number, and assign it, assign a, a value to it, and then we will print the name of the variable. That is the same thing we are doing here with the string. We are using the string keyword, and then our variable name, our assignment operator, and then the value. So here, if I do see out and two angle bracket greet, which is the variable name is going to print hello world to the console let's see that so when i do this i will have hello world to the console like this now this is this has to do with a single uh, line okay so we can as well end it here and try to do another um, variable write another variable uh, that belongs to the string data type so we can say string name and then assign a particular name to it here i'm going to assign my own name to that and then when i print when i print name i'm going to see the value which is this printed on the console so i'm going to close now and rerun it again and see um, expected something we have we have okay so I have I forgot this all right so I can just run now type cons character that was what else do we have we have an error right here and the error is pointing at line 7 where we have string greet um, hello world right here and we end the line. Um, let's see what the error we have is pointing to. One error warning. I don't know where. Oh, okay. So I'm not supposed to put this one here. This one has to come here rather. Okay, so that is it. We are ending the line here because this is where we are outputting the text. So I will run again and then the error is gone. I will have my text shown here. So I have hello world. I have my name also printed to the next line because we ended that line right here. Now I want to show you some technique when it comes to strings. So assuming that you want to print a text that contains um, a quotation mark okay so a text 
which contains a quotation mark. So I want to write something like, um, so this, I'm going to use, let me use a comment to write what I want to do. So I'll say this is, okay, Kofi's ball. Now you can see that this one contains an apostrophe, which is the quote, a single quotation mark. All right. I could also say, um, write something like he said, and then, you know, we are quoting somebody. So he said, I am a winner. So we want to quote what somebody has said. And now you know that we have to use what um, quotation mark to see. Uh, to say or to quote what somebody has said now how do we work out on this now let's see in in a situation like this i'm going to say string let's say quote all right equals and you know that we are going to write it in a um, double quotation mark so you see he said now here is the situation we have to also write whatever he said inside a double quotation mark so we are tempted to do like this and then i am a winner all right and probably we add the last quotation mark which we suppose belongs to the main string because this is the um, the quote that somebody said that is what we are quoting and the main one is supposed to be the uh, the string but in actual fact, you can see that it is not working out here because the first quote, double quote we have here is seven as the opening quote. And now C++ also sees this as the closing quotation mark. Now everything right after it will, is not going to be printed. It's going to give us an error because it doesn't belong to anything. So you can see the color change. Here is blue and here is black. You don't actually know um, what that one is. C++ cannot actually identify what this is and also treat this as an empty space. Okay, so now this is terminated right here. This is a string, complete string here, but this is unknown and this is a string of an empty space. So how do we deal with this? Now in a situation like this, we're going to use an escape sequence. All right, So and what I mean by escape sequence is that we're going to Right, um, give a character which is going to terminate or tell C++ that this is not the end of our quotation mark. And how do we do, do that? We use what a backslash. Okay, so by using a backslash here and then the end of it, good, before um, the, the main text is going to escape the character and tell C++ that this is not the end of the uh, the quote we are talking about, but rather it's supposed to be quoted. So now, if I use backslash, it escapes the um, this quotation mark that we have here. So I'm going to do C out quote, and you will see how this will, um, will come out. So let me delete what we have here. And then I'll run it. String character, where is it? Okay, another one. Good. So he said, I am a winner. Now here, I am the winner is the text that we want to quote let me is that um, okay some space that we do not have to so we want to quote I am a winner all right so we are going to use a backslash to terminate from the beginning and then inside of it all right so this is going to be our quote and this one is going to serve as so with this you are going to see he said I am a winner inside the quotation mark so now we see i am a winner inside the quotation mark despite the fact that strings uh, have the double quotation marks good 
we can also um, write something another way we can also do this is to let's say I want to print this is Kofi's ball so I'll say um, text because this is Kofi's ball now with this we are using um, double quotes to create a string so this one um, will not affect it because we are using we are using uh, double quotes to write the string and then we are using it at the single quote as an apostrophe so when we print text we're going to have a respected so I'm going to delete this and and then I'm going to run this and you're going to see that this is Kofi's ball alright so in a situation where um, you want to quote somebody in in double quotation mark you need to use the escape characters now you can also um, divide the text into two into two uh, different lines that is you want to print one on top and print one uh, below you don't have to use two um, or write two strings you don't need to create two variables in order to do that so you can use one string uh, one variable and then break it into two so this is Kofi's ball and then I'm going to write this is this is Kofi's ball that he has been looking for but I want to print that he has been looking for on the next line what I would do is to do a backslash and then N okay with backslash and N it is going to take it is going to take the following line okay the line that follows next and then into the next line so this is Kofi's ball will be printed on the first line and then that he has been looking for will be on the second line so let's see if I run this you see that this is Kofi's ball that he has been looking for all right the last thing I want to talk about is that we can actually chain um, strings so here I can say string I want to chain two strings I can change string first name because and then I'll create another one string last name because all right and then I'll print the two together as first name and then last name so if I run this I'm going to see the names put together so I have the two names put together okay so I have to leave some space right here or I can intentionally create the space using uh, a string an empty string like this an empty quotation mark like this and then I will leave them to create that space so I would have with the name Godfrey this will frankly with spaces in between uh, printed on the console so this is some uh, some things that you need to know about the data type string we move on to the next lesson if you have not subscribed i would like you to subscribe to this channel for more videos and kindly support us by liking sharing to other people write your comment whatever you think your suggestion we are going to deal with it thank you so much for watching this video